Consider supporting Archeosoup on Patreon for as little as a dollar per month. Link available in the video description. Thank you. Jeepers, creepers, where you get those papers? All those weepers, how they hypnotize. Where did you get those eyes? Where did you get those Hello, and welcome back to another Archaeologist's Eye. In this series, I present you with a puzzle scenario, an opportunity to think like an archaeologist, to see the world through the eyes of an archaeologist, and to bring those eyes to bear on a time, place, scenario, or artifact, and make some of the connections that archaeologists seemingly make quite naturally in their day-to-day -day lives. Being an archaeologist does get into your, 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 your psyche. It makes you see the world in a different way. And uh, I really want to, to, to share some of that with you more often in this series. It's actually been a while since I've made an Archaeologist's Eye video. It's actually been four years looking at, looking at the computer. And, uh, and I think part of the reason for that is that I just started sharing these puzzles in other ways. Uh, on, on the Instagram uh, feed or on the Facebook page uh, and, and presenting the answer for you within a matter of hours. So so the puzzle would be there and then I'd be, you know, like an excited you know, toddler going, -hee -hee -hee, and then share share with you the cool observation very quickly. But actually I, I realized this weekend when I when I, I posted one of these puzzles up on the Facebook page that no, no, this is a chance to make an archaeologist's eye video and to give you guys a bit longer to think about the puzzle at hand and then eventually reveal the answer to you later in the week. So today's puzzle did occur to me this weekend, uh, and like I say, I posted it up on Facebook, very quickly took it down when I thought that there was a chance to make a video here, and to, and to actually really give you guys some satis satisfying puzzle solving time. And the puzzle is quite simple, it is as follows. In what way is this crisp packet similar to ancient Greek pottery? So this crisp packet right here, there's something about it that makes it very similar to ancient Greek pottery pottery. Now I'll, I'll show you the back, not that you necessarily have to see it to solve this puzzle, but there you go, there's the back of the packet, and there's the front once more. Now this, this crisp packet is similar to ancient Greek pottery, uh, and in particular an aspect of ancient Greek pottery that we see some of the earliest examples of in archaic Greece, and actually my, my wife loves this about early Greek pottery as well. Uh, my wife was a, was a classicist in her first life. So uh, I've given you some clues there, some ideas to think about, and I'm going to leave it there. Tell me, why is this crisp packet similar to ancient Greek pottery? I will reveal the answer at the end of the week, and we'll discuss it together, uh, probably on Friday. But in the meantime, post your suggestions below. Have a bit of a think, go away, maybe do some research. If something occurs to you about this crisp packet, check it out and, uh, and maybe make, 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 make your own connections. In fact, I can think of a couple of p possible answers, but there's one answer that's really stood out to me. But anyway, one more, one more opportunity to see the crisp packet. There we go. Wonderful. And then the back. Ancient Greek pottery. Tell me. <laughs> now I'm going to leave it there, not least because I've got a very sore throat this morning. Thank you very much for watching, and as ever, until next time, do take care. Bye bye.